Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.4. We're going to go over every single step of getting shaders from getting Optifine, which is required for shaders, to downloading shaders packs and showing you how to download and install multiple shaders packs. It's all going to be covered in this video step by step. However, if you do want you know, more tips on Optifine and Minecraft in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of awesome stuff coming on the way. First and foremost, though, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own incredible Minecraft server. At Apex, you'll be able to start a modded server, a vanilla Minecraft server with no mods or anything, plugins on your server, all of that stuff quickly and easily in just a few clicks. They have 24 hours, 7 day a week support. It's so amazing. Go try it right now. That's how good it is. I'm coming and saying you can go try it right now and you get a response within minutes. And on top of that, they have amazing hardware. Tons of locations around the world for you to use your server from. And again, it's super easy to manage. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your very own Minecraft server, go check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown did XYZ slash Apex to do it the easiest way possible. Now let's go ahead and get some shaders. So the first thing we need to do to get shaders is download shaders. So here we have our top five list of shaders packs for Minecraft. You can check this out in the description down below. Specifically, it's the second link down below. All of these are updated and working in 1.16.4 currently. I just tested them before this video. So for this, we're going to be installing a few of my favorites. Specifically, we are going to be downloading Silder's Vibrant Shaders here. This is a more yellow, darker shaders pack here. And then we have Chocopic Shaders, which is almost the opposite end. It's going to be a little brighter on the spectrum. I wanted to kind of get both of those. However, all of these are truly incredible shaders packs. However, when you click on those, I've just kind of opened them in a new tab here. When you do click on those, it's going to take you off to a dedicated tutorial for them. Since you're watching this tutorial, just click on the download button on these pages. Here we are on Silder's official download page. There are a bunch of different versions of Silder's here, depending on how good your computer is, depends on which one you're going with. Since this video, like we're recording while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to go with the lightest one, the like easiest one, and then take us off to add focus. We're stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Stop it. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears in the top right. Don't click any other buttons except the red skip button in the top right on this page. When you do that it's going to take you off to media fire where finally we can click this blue download button here it might have a pop-up happen but that's okay and then finally in the bottom left you have a file called Silder's vibrant shaders download if you're almost like a firefox you may need to save this file in the center of your screen but as long as it says Silder's in the title you're good to go and the same thing goes for on google chrome you may need to save it normally you wouldn't know but as long as it says Silder's, it is safe now chalk pick is the next one here Again, this is a dedicated tutorial on our website, but just go ahead and click on that yellow download Chaga Pit Shaders button. That takes us off to Curse Forge, where we want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16, and then right up here at the top we have Chaga Pit V9 unzip file, right? So that's going to be our download under 1.16 there. Now the download is going to go ahead and begin, right like so. And just like that, we have shaders downloaded in the bottom left. Again, you may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe to do so. And we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Optifine. Remember, Optifine is required in order to run shaders in Minecraft 1.16.4. So let's go ahead and get that. Now, we do have in the description down below, I believe it's the third link down below. It's going to take you here. This is our in-depth Optifine tutorial. I'm going to be going over the basics in this video, but this tutorial right here goes a little more in-depth than we do in this video. So... Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green Download Optifine button. That then takes us off to Optifine's new and official redesigned website. Now, as you can see, the most recent version is currently Minecraft 1.16.4. That's awesome. However, if it isn't, just click Show All Versions. Then what you want to do is go ahead and find Minecraft 1.16.4 on this list, and then... If you're not watching this right after the video came out, you want to click on preview versions under 1.16.4. However, if you're watching this video in the future, you'll have a version like this under 1.16.4. If that's the case, that's the one you want to use. No matter what though, whether you have to click preview versions under 1.16.4 or if a version is already listed, you want to click on the mirror link over here on the right. So click on mirror. Don't click download. Click on mirror. When you click on Mirror, it's then going to take us off to here, which is our kind of download page for Optifine, specifically the specific version of Optifine we have. As you can see, it says Optifine 1.16.4 there. So we can go ahead and click on the Download button. Then in the bottom left, Optifine will begin downloading. Now, we will need to keep this file on Google Chrome, but as long as it has Optifine in the title, it's 100% safe to keep it. Same thing goes on Mozilla Firefox. You need to save it in the center of your screen, but as long as it has Optifine in the title, it's 100% safe to save it. Now, finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have a bunch of stuff. We have Soldier's Vibrant Shaders. We have Chocopic, and then we also have Preview Optifine. Now, 
If these are on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. How do you find that? Well, you click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. We go to that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Then go ahead and type in downloads. In this downloads file folder in Windows, click on that. And in here, you will find Silders Vibrant Shaders and Chocopic and Optifine or whatever shaders pack you want. I do want to mention at this time, any shaders pack will install the exact same way that we're going to be doing in this video. Now, there is one caveat here. If you noticed, back on the website where Chocopic was downloaded, right? So we come back over here to Chocobit Shader's official website. It says unzip file here, right? That's something to note. You want to unzip this file. Now, not all of them are going to be this way, right? Not every shader is going to be this way, but Chocopic said to unzip this. So we want to go ahead and right click on it, click on extract all and click extract. Now, once we do that, we can go ahead and open it up. And in here, we have all of the different versions of this shaders pack, right? Now, if we go ahead and I'm going to, again, use the low one because we are recording here and don't have that good of a computer to do that with. So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop Chocopic low to our desktop. We can then delete the Chocopit file we downloaded and the extracted file that we just did. Now, not every shaders pack is going to be that way. For example, Shielders Vibrant Shaders is not that way because we downloaded the separate version on the website. And how do you know that? Well, if you extract the shaders that's not supposed to be extracted it's going to look a lot differently once it is so if we open this up there's not going to be any zip files as a matter of fact what it's actually going to be is a file called shaders with a bunch of stuff in it if that's the case it doesn't need to be unzipped at all and you can just leave it as this looks like a normal zipped file so now, before we get these installed, we need to install Optifine. Luckily, that's pretty easy. As long as you have this Java logo here and everything, you should be able to right-click on it, click on Open With, and then click on Java. However, if you don't have that Java logo, or if you don't have Java listed here, what do you do? Well, no worries. We, of course, have the solution in the description down below. You can go here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Shaders and Optifine being Minecraft mods, guess what? You need this version of Java, and we walk you through it step-by-step. Step. We've helped over a million people get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. Now at that point, you should be able to open up Optifine, but if you are still having issues, you probably need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them up to Java once again, kind of making them work together all beautifully. Nevertheless, once you've done that, you should finally be able to right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Then that is going to go ahead and open up, right like so, the Optifine installer. Now, once this is open, it's very, very simple and easy to install Optifine. Just click on the install button there. The only reason this might have issues is if you've never played Minecraft 1.16.4 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods or anything, then come back and it should work. But as you can see, it does say Optifine is successfully installed, so we can go ahead and click OK. That would then go ahead and close out of the Optifine installer there. Now we can delete Optifine from our desktop, and we can get shaders installed. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before we go hitting that play button, we need to make sure we've got the correct profile selector to click Minecraft installation. Now, if we look down here in the bottom left, we do have Optifine. That's good. If you don't see that, go ahead and click on this little arrow here and select Optifine from this list. When you do that, you want to make sure it says 1.16.4 Optifine. If it does, go ahead and click play. But if it doesn't say 1.16.4 dash Optifine under it, it says 1.16.2, for example, or, or if you don't have an Optifine profile at all, here's what you do. Go ahead and click on the installations tab up here at the top, then click on this plus new button, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible grief protected Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 grief protected survival with medieval survival, having 30 custom quests and a play based economy just awesome mcmmo elements and then we also have amazing aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy incredible community over there and then we do have custom skyblock with huge updates coming to our skyblock very very soon so come play with us but our breakdowncraft.com is the ip you will absolutely love it once you've got your name in there we click on this version drop down box in here we want to find release 1.16.4 dash optifine for me it's right up here at the top so we can go ahead and click on that for you you may need to scroll down to the bottom even maybe all the way at the bottom to be able to find this but find release 1.16.4 dash optifine click on it now at this point, I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. Then let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And we now have this played our breakdowncraft.com profile. Under it, it's 1.16.4 Optifine. So we can hover over that and click the green play button. And now Minecraft will open up with Optifine installed. From here, it's very, very simple and very, very easy to get shaders installed. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're on the Minecraft main menu. And then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. So Minecraft's opening up. I will see you on the main menu. 
So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click on options, then we click on video settings, and then there's the shaders button. Go ahead and click on that. However, you might get a warning like this. As you can see, shaders are not compatible with fabulous graphics, which is what we have up here. So let's go ahead, turn that on to fancy. Now you might also get a warning about a anthroscopic filtering and a few different things like that. For example, I believe if you have some different settings in here, you may still get some shaders errors. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and take care of those. I've also got some shaders packs installed here. Let me go ahead and uninstall this and then we'll reinstall it. So there we go, just like that, the shader pack is gone so again to get to this page all we want to do is go from the minecraft main menu to options and then to video settings and then click on the shaders button now to install shaders at this point it is very very simple and very very easy to do so go ahead and click on the shaders button in the bottom left it opens this up right like so and now we need to go ahead and drag and drop any shaders pack that we want to install whether it's Silder's vibrant shaders chocolate pit shaders low edition whatever it is whatever shaders pack you want to install drag and drop it into the shaders packs folder here and then here we are we have our shaders packs installed they appeared instantly just like that in Minecraft. To install them, just click on them. So first off, let's install Chocolate Picks. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's then going to reload Minecraft right like so. And if we go ahead and click Done, click Done again, and jump onto the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, we can go ahead and test these shaders out. So once we get in game, you will be able to see here that we do have shaders installed, and they are looking stunning. Look at that. So that is Chaka Pick shaders here. We are on an aquatic survival spawn here, and just absolutely stunning. Like, wow, I'm my mind is literally blown with how beautiful this shaders packs look. Look at the water. There's no denying that shaders is installed. We do not have any resource packs active or anything like that. So we are good there. This is just raw shaders, and wow. We could even increase our graphics a little bit if we wanted to. Like we can come in here and turn all the animations on and, you know, get some quality, for example, you know, immersive textures and turn some of these, you know, settings up a little bit if we wanted to in order to kind of get even more stuff happening. But overall, this is looking really, really good. And um, yeah, we don't have time to, to do all of that. Now, what if you don't like this shaders pack, though? What if you want to select a different one? Well, you can actually do this in game. So just go ahead and hit escape, hit options, click on video settings. Click on shaders and then click on whatever shaders pack you want. In this case, Silder's Vibrant Shaders. So if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to go ahead and reload everything. Click done, click done, click done again. And here we are in game with Silder's Vibrant Shaders. Bit of a different water texture. Things are a little different looking. Um, let's go over here and kind of look at this. This is a little more yellow, whereas before it was a little less yellow with Chaka Pick Shaders. Overall, still a great looking shaders pack and uh, that's how you can switch them. So again, let's go ahead and switch them one more time. Video settings, shaders. Chocolate pick shaders, and there we go. As you can see, the yellowness is gone, and the look is a bit different. So there you have it. That's how you can download and install shaders packs. Additionally, you can do that from the main menu as well. Anytime by going to options, video settings, shaders. Doesn't matter if you're in game or on the main menu, you can switch out shaders packs. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. I cannot wait to see you on this incredible server, play.breakdowncraft.com. As you can see here, we have amazing aquatic survival with a slash shot based economy and just a ton of fun. We have 1.16.4 medieval survival with a player based economy, 30 custom quests. It's an amazing time over there. And then custom skyblock with so much awesome stuff coming to our skyblock server. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single week. And um, yeah, my name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.